Hey, I'm JQ. I'm TQ. I'm Mama Q. We're the Q Brothers, and, uh, and, I'm and I'm this is Small, Small Power, Power TV. TV. Um, so we just uh, filmed a, a video on what flower essences are and sort of a little bit of the history. So we'll link that below this one. But right now we want to jump into sort of part two, let's call it. Of, so you're into taking flower essences and you'd like to make a combination, a personal formula, so to right. speak. Is that right, mm -hmm. Reet? That's right. Customized. Because usually there isn't just, you're not experiencing just one emotion. You know, it, it could be a combination. You're, uh, if you make a personal formula, you can mix up to seven different essences. Uh, well, you know, know what we should have had up here was the Patricia, Patricia Kaminsky um, book, because that would give a good idea of how someone might do it on their own. Um, That's right. we'll link or the book I below. do have. Uh, we'll link the book below. But the idea would be you talk to you are a person. You are I'm a Bach flower practitioner. So <clears throat> if someone does have an issue, they would come to me and I would ask them questions and try to uh, zero in on what emotions were causing the imbalance mm -hmm. in their life. So and and at once. Like, so let's say. Um, should we jump into that, or do you want to talk about what's included in there first, like how you would mix it and how you would take it? What well, do you think? once you've decided which remedies go into your formula, uh, each one comes in a stock bottle, uh, and what you would do is take a one-ounce dropper bottle, put two drops of each of the essences that, that, you've, chosen you, that you've chosen for your formula into the droppers, empty dropper bottle, and then fill that bottle with drinking water. Now this is what you carry with you, or you keep next to you. Yeah, and that would be your personal this formula. This is your personal formula. Uh, and you take four drops of this, four to six times a day. And squirt. Yes, it just dropped right in your mouth. Uh, and, and it will taste like what? I've tasted it. It tastes like water with maybe a a little hint of brandy. You hit the tiniest hint of brandy in there, but not I mean, with that amount, it's not very much. It tastes kind of like water. water yeah. Yeah. Right. There is well because once you dilute it up to here, there's very little alcohol in it. By volume. Yeah. By volume. Sometimes it tastes a little floral. Well, that depends on the essence. These, these ones especially mm -hmm. are a little more floral. So, um, <clears throat> and that bottle should last two weeks if you take it faithfully. And and. How would you know when you're done taking it? Like, I've asked this before. I mean, I've heard an answer, but I want to hear your answer. Like, how do you know when you need to stop taking it? Well, flower essences work on a very subtle level. They're very gentle, very subtle, but very effective. So, you, I believe it starts working immediately, but you don't always notice the results. Because it's so subtle, you may say, say one of the things is that you're getting upset with someone in your life uh, or an action of someone else toward you. Uh, after taking it, you, you might say, oh, surprisingly, that didn't bother me so much yeah. today. Um, and sometimes the things aren't necessarily external, but they're more internal feelings. That's true. And I, I, the, what I kind of heard, which I liked, was you'll kind of know because you won't even think, you probably will forget to take it because you won't be thinking about how you need it anymore too. That's because right. some of the things that would have triggered you to start it in the first place have disappeared and because it's solid you sort of find like, oh yeah, I was taking that yesterday and I forgot about it. And that's probably the time when you might not need that anymore until you have something new arise. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. And oftentimes when some of those um, issues that are at the forefront, when some of those emotions are cleared up, another emotion might surface. Yeah, so and you, so then you tweak the formula. Yeah, you could you dump it out and dump it out. Next time you use maybe, you know, if you were using four you might use two and something else. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what you're feeling. And I mean that's the great part about it. It's more of a it's not a medicine per se, but more a tool. I would I mean, mm -hmm. because it's not an active ingredient and they're they're safe, it's uh, we discussed in the other video. This is something that people can really experiment with Absolutely. fairly freely without a lot of without any risk really and reap the benefits because you know we don't need to go to the doctor for everything that we have a lot of what human especially modern life is and I think is dealing with 
stresses and emotions that are coming faster maybe than they ever have in human history because of the speed of everything we do, but they're not necessarily like, they don't make a pill for that, or if they do, you probably don't want that pill. You know what I mean? That's my opinion. So I think like this is, so, so I, I'm wondering if you could maybe help me. I know you have growing up a lot in the past, but I have to work with this guy, make videos with him sometimes. Um, and I have a similar situation. Yeah. <laughs> what? You? I have to make videos with this guy who's like really overbearing and he's like, you know, kind of like always like, do this and do that. And I feel like nothing I do is good enough. And you know, it's yeah. Like, yeah. And I, I have to work with this guy who's sort of like slacking off. I don't know if he has a real job or not. He never, you know, it's like I have to remind him all the time to be here and just like, you know, I don't know. It's really frustrating for me. What would you? Why can, would you find that so frustrating? Are you? Uh, do you have too much to do, and you're hoping that he would step in and, and help you with that? Are you? Well, I certainly have too much to do. Yes, mm -hmm. I would say overwhelm would be a good, okay. a pretty good description of me. As chill as I look mm -hmm. on these videos, <laughs> it's still <Okay>. true. <laughs> and uh, how? You know, when he's when he's uh, pushing you, uh, you know, what kind of surf, what kind of feelings are you? Well, I just feel like, you know, like, um, like he's not listening and he's like a little stubborn and you know, hard headed. Like yeah, I get frustrated, uh -huh. but I don't really let it out. Okay. <laughs> 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 I don't, yeah, I wouldn't describe that as true, but. Okay, I think that I can make a formula for each of you that yeah. I think might help. All right. All right, Reed, we'll take a break here while you go to it mixing up off, out of your... Uh, My kit? Yeah, your kit, and let's see what happens, all right? All right. All right. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I've mixed a, a personal formula for each of my sons, as they call it, their potions. I don't know if they think I'm a witch or what, but anyway. <laughs> uh, for Anthony, I've... I've put uh, Elm, which is when you're overwhelmed with responsibility. He has a lot of things going on, running the business, uh, the website. Um, it's always too much without enough help. Uh, but it causes him to be inflexible and overbearing sometimes, especially to, to Jay. So uh, in there I put Vine, and Vine is for people who are overbearing, the, the tough boss, the person who's always yelling at you, and, uh, and I also added uh, crabapple. Crabapple is when you don't like something, it could be about yourself or, or whatever, you know, what your, your work, your body, your uh, different things. So if he, he's looking for perfection, which of course none of us can ever attain, but uh, that has to be learned, and crabapple does help you uh, to learn that. So I added crabapple to his. So he has elm, vine, and crabapple. For Jay, um, I feel like maybe he is apathetic a little bit, and that happens especially when he's pushed around. So wild rose is what I put in his. Uh, and another one is hornbeam. Hornbeam is for when you have that m Monday, or Monday morning feeling. You really don't feel like getting up and doing what it is you have to do. But if a friend called you and said, you know, meet me for lunch and, and something, you'd be right Johnny on the spot. So I think that will help him to be there, to do what's expected of him. Uh, but also, I think that he probably has feelings uh, negative feelings and feelings of anger when uh, Anthony is on his back. So in order to release those feelings, you want agrimony. Agrimony is for people who keep a nice face when all turmoil is going on inside. So let's see how these potions work. So, <laughs> I don't take it. <laughs> This is quarter yeah. Hey man, you're not so bad. You too. Hey! <laughs> Join us next time. <laughs> Try some flower essences. Maybe not that dramatic, but 
It's not <laughs> that far from the truth from what I've experienced, all right? Peace out.